Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. So for today's video, you can already tell by the title, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to manifest and how I've manifested things into my life and how it all works because I have gotten a few questions on it. So this is just my personal like tips and tricks. This is what I've learned from reading books, watching a movie and just from my experience. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it and not ramble on. Okay, so I just wanted to start off by saying that you're manifesting constantly. Every single thought that you have, you're manifesting. If you keep thinking negative things, then you're attracting negative things. If you are always thinking positive things, you're gonna keep attracting positivity. Just imagine yourself like a fridge and then like magnets are coming to you. There's positive magnets and there's negative magnets. And if you put yourself on the frequency of positive magnets, then you're only gonna be able to attract those because they're gonna match the type of metal that you have on your fridge. So so just think of it that way you always have to be so conscious of what you're thinking every single day and that's why I found that it's just so important if I ever have a negative thought about something I quickly change that in my brain to make it a positive thought so that I'm not attracting more negativity and the universe will test you it will and it almost purposely will send negative things your way to test you you have to bulldoze through those tests and really just switch on that positive flick in your mind in order to attract and manifest positive things so just to start off just know that you're constantly manifesting and creating your future every single second because we're always thinking so first step that i have for you guys is getting rid of your negative subconscious beliefs if you guys don't know what subconscious belief is, it's basically a belief in the part of your brain that you don't really know. It's there, like you're not really conscious of thinking that because it's happening in your subconscious mind. You can search up more about it, but that's just a brief explanation. For example, if you were a kid and in your household, your parents always said money doesn't grow on trees, like you have to work hard for your money. Money will only come to you if you work X amount of hours a week, like you have to do this, you have to do that. And then that made this subconscious belief that money is hard to come by and you need to work very hard for your money without you knowing that formed a belief in your subconscious mind that carries on to your adulthood if you don't be careful about it. To get rid of your subconscious beliefs, you need to reprogram your mind. Reprogram your mind into the notion that you create your reality and you're in charge of everything that happens to you. So if you think in your mind money is hard to come by and you can't get money easily, then that's going to be your reality. What a good exercise to do is to get rid of your subconscious beliefs is just kind of take a pen and a paper and write down like, can I attain money easily? And if the answer is no to that, you realize that you have that subconscious belief that's maybe blocking your manifestations. And if you're honest with yourself, you can see and connect the dots that everything you're thinking is an exact vibrational match to what is happening to you in reality. It's like if you get a speeding ticket, let's say, and you're like, oh my gosh, like I have such bad luck. I got a speeding ticket and you're telling yourself you have bad luck. Therefore, you're gonna keep getting more bad luck. You're gonna get another speeding ticket because that's all you're focusing on and that's all you're thinking about so that's what you're going to be attracting is bad luck obviously bad things can happen to you like that like just shitty things in general but you have to catch when that happens and think to yourself why did that happen to me what was i thinking throughout these past weeks catch yourself the next time you have a negative thought and just try and get rid of it or turn it into something positive so in order to attract positive things and in order to reprogram your mind you have to be honest with yourself with what you're actually thinking and how you view things in your reality in in order to experience something different in your reality you have to change that up here okay so now that we got our limiting beliefs pushed to the side we got rid of those a fresh blank mind you have to ask yourself what do you want be honest with yourself even if it's so dramatic and so out there be honest with yourself like do you want that you can have anything you want but it's our mind and limiting beliefs that are stopping us from having those things because we think that we can't actually have them you can do anything it's, it's your mind that's your mental roadblock so a good tip for this like a good little exercise is to kind of manifest a tiny thing in your day tomorrow let's say say to the universe and be like i want to attract the number 72 or i want to attract a cup of coffee to me and you gotta believe that it's going to happen so if you say oh i want to attract a cup of coffee but in your head you're thinking oh that's never gonna happen then it's never gonna happen you have to believe that you're going to attract it so do this little exercise okay put it out something that you want to attract that you mentally believe it's going to happen so let's say if you go to a coffee shop every single Single day and you're working at a coffee shop think to yourself like someone is gonna buy me a cup of coffee today randomly believe that it will happen so the important part of manifesting is realizing that to manifest some 
something like a cup of coffee is just as easy as it is to manifest a hundred cups of coffee. One dollar is as easy as a million dollars, but the difference between the one cup of coffee and the hundred cups of coffee and the one dollar and the million dollars is that you probably won't believe that you can attract that much money, that you can attract that many cups of coffee. You don't believe that can happen because if I say to you, oh, someone's going to buy you 100 coffees, you'd be like, there's no way that's ever going to happen. You thinking that means that it's not going to happen because that's the law of attraction. If you don't think it's going to happen, it's not going to happen. But if you believe it's going to happen, it will happen. You can be like, I can find a dollar easily on the floor. Like that's easy. That's so easy to do versus a million dollars. You can't just find a million dollars on the floor. Therefore, we don't believe it. And that is the whole point. You have to realize that attracting a tiny ass thing like a dollar is just as easy as attracting a million dollars but you just have to believe it you just have to know that it's going to happen and you you will be able to attract it so the next step that i have for you guys is not forcing your manifestations if you're forcing something in general you don't like it because if you're forcing something on yourself you're not willing to do it so if you're trying to attract money in your life don't go and get 12 jobs, 12 different jobs, because you don't want to get those 12 jobs and you're just not going to feel good about that because you're forcing that on yourself. You have to do things in a positive manner. So take inspired action on things instead of taking forceful action. So if you want to manifest money into your life and let's say you've always wanted to be a writer and you want to always had a dream of writing a book, maybe start writing that book. As you're writing that book, just imagine that book getting huge and selling millions of copies around the world. Since it's not forceful, since you're willing to do it your brain is wanting to attract it you are attracting it maybe without even knowing versus getting those 12 jobs that you're gonna hate your life because you're going to work every single day of the week so that's what kind of taking inspired action means you got to do what feels right and let your intuition guide you on that so that's why it's like easier to manifest things that mean less to us because if you're manifesting money and you really need money you're being you're, you're becoming attached to the outcome and you're not letting the energy just flow you're becoming attached and obsessed with the outcome. So that's why it may be harder to manifest the money that you want versus a cup of coffee that you're not even thinking about. Money can only come through you or your manifestations can only come through you when you're not worried. Because when you're worried, your brain is going to negative places. Therefore, you're not attracting anything positive. You're not actually attracting it because you're worried about it. If you're desperate for money and you're anxious and worried about it every single day, you're not going to attract it because you're worried and anxious about it. That's not positive attraction. That's not positively attracting anything it's not going to bring you money anything that's going to make you lose money the hardest part is actually believing it and that might take time and obviously that goes along with reprogramming your subconscious beliefs but it will come so next point is you have to realize why you want something do you want money to make you feel less worried do you want money to make you feel more happy to be more free in your life now this is how it works the law of attraction isn't about what you specifically want but it's what you become a vibration match to. So if I'm thinking to myself, I want a million dollars so that I can be free. I can be happy. If I'm not those things already without the million dollars, then I'm not a vibrational match to that million dollars because I'm still in a vibrational match that's lacking. So I'm going to be only attracting what I'm a vibrational match to. This is like a really good example that I found in a book. So if you're listening to listening to a pop radio station, you can't tune in to country music when you're on a pop radio station. To get to that country music, you got to change that frequency. You got to change the channel. So if you want to attract money because it's going to make you feel free, it's going to make you happier and less worried, you have to become happier. You have to become free so that the money is just going to come after that because you're a vibrational match to it and that can be really really difficult obviously why you can't just snap your fingers and manifest anything it's a whole lifestyle change so if you want to be a famous singer you have to act like a famous singer you have to become the famous singer before you're a famous singer i was listening to this podcast with bretman rock and he was saying how he manifested becoming a famous youtuber because when he was younger he said he always acted famous he said he would walk into a store like he owned the store like he was already famous he would dress like he was famous he took on the vibration of being famous and wealthy he said once he became famous and wealthy it was like nothing changed because he already felt as if he was famous and wealthy because he already had tuned that radio station to what he wanted to be but you have to just live it out like it's already happening it'll happen without you even knowing because you're already feeling those emotions so let's say you want to manifest more money start writing out a list of things that you would be if you had that money and slowly start to integrate those things into 
into your everyday life and become that person that has that million dollars already? What would you be doing differently in your everyday life? Picture yourself having a million dollars and think to yourself, what would I be doing differently in your everyday life if you had that million dollars? And do it, implement it into your life. You have to start to feel like you actually have it already. You have to feel it, you have to become it. And if you can't do that right away, you can start with just sitting down for 10 minutes a day, whatever you can last for. And what I like to do is I used to put on like music and just sit silently because music really helps me manifest and feel the things that I want to attract just because I get in a really good state and flow. So just literally, if you have troubles with becoming it, just start little by little every day and sit down, maybe put some music on and envision your life with those things you want to manifest and feel into it. If you you want a luxury Lamborghini close your eyes and feel what it would be like to be in that Lamborghini how happy you would be to have it and feel those emotions and you're gonna be soon vibrating those emotions every single day the most important part I can't stress this enough is to feel it feel it like you already have it is that is gonna change your vibration just thinking something is not going to necessarily change your vibration unless you're putting that feeling into those thoughts because if you're worrying about money you're getting anxious and you're feeling that worry once you put it out into the universe it's already on its way to you when you buy a package online you don't go check the tracking thing like five times a day because you know you ordered it and you know that the package is on the it's it's on the way to you so you got to have that mindset as well as feeling into it is that you can't stress about it if you ordered something you know it's coming they told you it's gonna be delivering so you don't need to go and check that tracking you don't you gotta know and believe it's coming to you don't stress about it because that's gonna completely destroy what you're trying to manifest ask believe and receive are the three steps you gotta live by that so i know all this information might seem super overwhelming and i know you may be thinking that's too hard i can never do that but you can you just have to have the right mindset and you need to reprogram your subconscious beliefs and you can do anything we're all so powerful and we don't even realize it we only use five percent i think it is of our brains we only use five percent we're smart ass human beings you guys start taking the right steps in the right direction you can do it don't expect your mindset to change overnight because that's nearly impossible because we're so programmed as i was saying in the beginning of the video just do a little test run do a little test run it's kind of cool seeing those little test runs happen because you're like oh shit i can't remember every single example that happened to me when i first discovered manifesting but there has been some crazy shit that has happened that i was mind blown about that i really want you guys to experience as well because it's just so magical so i'm gonna just give you guys a couple of suggestions of what to watch so there's this movie on netflix that's called the secret and that's what first got me into manifesting and i highly highly suggest that you guys watch it because it explains everything i mean it doesn't go very in depth but it really could get you motivated and pumped up so i really suggest that you guys watch that also if you guys want to take it a step further there's this book called ask and it is given and it's all about the law of attraction it explains how everything vibrational energetic works and give it a read because it's just so informative but i would suggest watching the movie first because that just gets your foot in the door and then if you guys want to go further to read that book because it goes so much more in depth like what i talked about there's a whole book on it and it's just such interesting stuff and it's so crazy that at the end of the day our whole universe we're just all energy and it just makes sense like it's scientifically proven that everything is energy and the law of attraction is scientifically proven so yeah it's very very interesting but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i just want you guys to live your best happiest life and attract everything lovely into your life and you can do it don't let anybody tell you that you can't get rid of those limiting beliefs i love you guys so much thank you for watching see you guys in my next one peace out